Welcome to Questions for the Exiles. Today we hear a question that St. Paul asks. You are running well who hindered you from obeying the truth. Galatians 5, verse 7. Paul uses a metaphor to, of a foot race to describe the way of life for those who have been saved by grace, who have, as he says, been created in Christ Jesus for good works that God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. He asked this question because someone has caused these early church Christians to shift their faith from the gospel, the truth of their full salvation in Christ alone, to their salvation by some other means, namely works. His question reveals that, that whoever, for whatever reason, they were shifting their faith, It had no connection to God. Because putting faith in any work or anything, no matter how religious it may be, would be a denial of their salvation by grace through faith alone. It also revealed that whoever it was they were listening to and following, that person wasn't from God. Paul's concern, because where faith is not fixed on the gospel of Christ alone that saves sinners by the grace of God alone. There is no salvation. He realizes that the Galatians had not stopped trying to live for their salvation, but they had changed course from living obedient to the word of God through faith because they were saved to living obediently to what they believed would actually save them. They become blind to the fact that no runner lays out the course that they will run in faith, nor do they get to change the course at the whim of their desires. As much as Paul's question is a lament that they are jeopardizing their salvation, it is a plea for them to humble themselves to humble themselves before the gracious works of God in Jesus Christ, to save them completely and unconditionally from all of their sin, a plea to live obedient to the gospel through faith because they already are saved. What about you? Do you hear St. Paul's question as an invitation to humbly return to the Lord who humbled himself freely on the cross to save you from all your sins, that by his works you have been saved. Return with me in faith. Let us return together to him who loves endlessly. Let us run together in obedience of faith because we are saved in Jesus Christ. To that end we pray. Order my footsteps, O Lord, that I may run in faith the course of love in Jesus Christ. Amen. Take care.